Some years ago, I lost sight of my toes as they slowly disappeared from view behind the growing man-made mound at the front of my waist. It didn't really bother me much. I mean, it was nothing a baggy shirt wouldn't fix. But as I've entered my 50s, what had been an extra useful layer of insulation has become a bit of a health hazard. In fact, some research published in the British Medical Journal last week found that people who've never smoked, maintain a healthy weight, take a reasonable amount of exercise, eat well and drink moderately, live an extra 10 years, free from major illnesses like diabetes, cancer or heart disease. Who oh dare? I don't know about another 10 healthy years, it's going to be a bloody miracle if I make it to the end of this video. Still, you never know, there's a chance I might eke out a few more healthy years, so this year's resolution is to try and see my toes before the end of the summer. And to help me achieve that goal, I've got a set of Withings digital scales. Withings make three scales, there's the body, which for just shy of £60 measures your weight and calculates your BMI. Then there's the Body Plus, which for another £30 will tell you your fat mass. Then finally there's the Body Cardio, which costs £130 and measures something called your pulse wave velocity, which apparently gives you some indication as to whether your arteries have become like Victorian cast iron drain pipes. All of the models send the data they collect to an app on your smartphone, so you can see how your weight, fat mass and pulse wave velocity change over time. The same app also gathers and presents exercise data from Withings watches, like this one I reviewed a couple of months ago. Withings scales also have a neat little feature, which is that they give you a weather forecast when you stand on them first thing in the morning. And they wish you a happy new year, or a happy birthday. I find it surprisingly nice to be wished a happy birthday by a set of bathroom scales. I clearly need to get out more. In fact, I bought an early Withings Cardio about three years ago, and there are two things I've learned. The first is that you can save your money and buy the cheapest model. For most people, there's just no value in knowing your fat mass or your pulse wave velocity. All I really want to know is whether I'm making progress in getting my BMI down from obese to George Clooney. Another bit of research carried out over two years by Cornell University and published in 2015 in one of my favourite magazines, The Journal of Obesity, found that people who monitored their weight regularly using scales lost more weight than those who didn't. I'm obviously an exception to that rule. In the first three months after I bought the scales, I dropped four kilos to 88 and a half. But since then, it's climbed relentlessly back up to 95. Obviously, the mere act of buying a set of digital scales doesn't on its own make the weight fall off, which is a bit of a shame. In fact, my problem is that I've got a seriously sweet tooth. Chocolate is every bit as irresistible to me as a wrap of heroin is to a junkie. And it doesn't matter where you hide it, I'll find it. And if I don't, I'll steal your jewellery and buy some. I read that to stand any chance of beating their addiction, addicts of all sorts need to take themselves away from temptation, mainly by disassociating themselves from people who share their addiction. So I'm sorry, children. I do love you very much, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to put you up for adoption. Joking aside, reaching a healthy weight really is a tough thing for some people. But I'm quietly confident that with the discipline given to me by the Withing Scales and the Watch, and by banishing chocolate from the house, I'm going to be putting the ex-Chancellor Nigel Lawson to shame by July. If you know anyone else who's trying to shed a few kilos, do share this video with them. Otherwise, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Until the next time, bye-bye.